Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to the High School Sports Beat, brought to you by Alfred State College. I am Dave Yates. It is time now for the High School Notebook, brought to you by Duncan. America runs on Duncan. And once again this week, are pleased to be joined by Matt Trable. Matt, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me on. Well, Matt, sometimes you've got a player, sometimes you've got a game that kind of is the high mark of the season. I think now we might have a single shot that is the high mark of the season for basketball so far. Absolutely. And I did not think a Section 5 buzzer beater, at least in this generation of the sport, would beat what I saw a couple years ago from Newark's Taylor Clements. He was under the opposite hoop, heaved it in with one hand, also made Sports Center top 10. But that is what Webster Thomas, hosting Aronda Coit, bestowed upon us. Just an unbelievable game throughout, but especially at the end of this one. And Danny Palmer from Webster Thomas, he puts the, the underdogs for sure in this game in those Titans, he puts them up by a single point, but that's when everything happened. That's when Section 5 history happens, essentially. And now Connor Schaefer, the inbounds passer, he deserves a lot of love for what happened as well. He hesitates and he slings. Really hums one, sidearm style to Luke Melodona, Mr. Pistol Pete, if you want to say, for all of Section 5. And he hoists one from beyond half court and in pandemonium, it beats the horn. Also got some national recognition as well, like Taylor Clements did on SportsCenter Top 10 Plays, ranked number eight. Awesome. Outstanding stuff. Surprising ending to that game. Surprising season for Rush Henrietta, a team not expected to maybe do much, but they're making some noise. Yeah, same thing there. A very good story because last two years, they've really had a lot of talent, a lot of talented players, both quality and quantity, go out of that program, graduate. So the expectations, like you were saying a second ago, for this season, we're not very high. When you have Chris Reed as your head coach, someone who's been in it for so long, recently had a milestone win, you're going to be at least competitive just about every season. But this year, in surprising fashion, they're even more than competitive. They're going to a recent game versus Victor, 14-0. They're the big story this year in terms of being undefeated in the top classification. And they were number two in that top classification, those AA standings. And they really turned some heads in that game against the Blue Devils. They're down 14 going into the fourth quarter, but had a good comeback, only lost by three points. And when you look at the seniors on this team, they're really leading the charge. It was what you need if you're going to be turning some heads. Niles Goodwin, senior, 6'4". He went from being a bench big to really streamlining his body going into that final campaign for his boys basketball. To now he's a reliable weapon from the post. And in that backcourt as well, Javante Williams, who was a former underclassman starter, so he has more experience than most. He is a guy that can score really every which way. So you have a really good senior duo and plenty around him too. Real quick, let's talk about another team that's making some noise as we head in the sectionals. That would be Pittsburgh Menden. Yeah, Pittsburgh Menden is another team that graduated a lot recently. But last year, no Section 5 boys basketball team had more wins, got farther in state play than those Menden Vikings. And then Dan Cook, the big star from last year, on a very good team quantity-wise, so he goes off to play at Hobart as part of three starters that graduated from that team. But those personnel losses have really turned the current team into an underrated force that cannot be overlooked. Jacob Shatters has really picked up his game this year because he's always been, even last year, as an underclassman was the number two option behind Cook, always been a guy to provide plenty of perimeter scoring. But as a 6-1 point guard, this year he's really impressed rebounding the basketball. And then you throw in a freshman stud, a pivotal addition to this team, Jackson Green, the younger brother of a thousand point score for the girls program at Mended and Lexi Green. Awesome, great stuff. As always, Matt, thanks. Anytime you can work out the word bestow in this segment, <laughs> we always appreciate that. We're back with more of the high school sports beat brought to you by Alfred State College right after this.